10 tonight. An alert across Connecticut for pet owners tonight. Coyotes are on the prowl. They are hungry, they are aggressive, and they can be dangerous to pets. In Wolcott, a frightening attack, the victim, a family dog. And News 8's Bob Wilson spent time in Wolcott tonight, found out the weather might be playing a role in these recent attacks on pets. Bob. Yeah, you know, when you have that winter thaw, that kind of lets the coyotes take their energy and focus it on hunting and not keeping warm. So these warmer temperatures lets them be out in packs, and that's what's happening in Wolcott. I said, Mommy loves you, and he just looked up at me. <laughs> just as if to say, I love you back, Mommy. We caught up with Marie LaFrancis as she was leaving her house in Wolcott. Her dog Brody was snatched right out of her own backyard by coyotes. She was too upset to show her face, but she wanted to tell her story in hopes that others would not lose their dog. There's something wrong. Brody's not coming, so we took a ride. Then we saw all the blood up. It's right from the corner of our house. Leo, yeah. come. Animal Control Officer Roslyn Nenninger investigated the attack and says this is the fourth dog attack or disappearance in the past four months in Wolcott. It was four coyotes. What they did was they grabbed the dog, 28-pound dog, Means they had to be pretty hungry because usually they go more towards small prey than that size and they drag the dog off. What I did was I called the police station and I told them about it so that people would be aware. Now she says Brody was not on a leash, but she's concerned if she kept him on a leash that he'd be just sitting there tied up if the coyote attacked and he wouldn't be able to defend himself. I can't say put your dog on a leash. They can get done there. Just be, be, go out with your dog. Officer Nettinger takes her dogs out for a walk in the same wilderness area where the coyotes' attacks have been happening. Come on, let's go. She says coyotes are more active during the midwinter thaw and has seen coyotes in her own yard as well. Roll it across, and out we go. My way of coinciding okay. is putting up a fence. Cost me a couple hundred bucks from Home Depot. Keeps my dogs safe, keeps them off my property, and life is good. And Officer Nettinger has a whole lot of tips. She says basically if you can Google it, research it, get a hold of deep, they have some tips on how to keep your pets safe. If you understand the mentality of the coyotes, that will keep them away from your home. Inter interestingly enough, she says that one of the attacks that happened on one of the dogs, a beagle, the homeowner looked out the window, saw it happen, went out there, yelled, and the coyote dropped it and went back over the fence. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford, News 8.